My striker is in between or behind two defenders and I'm giving a little double tap pass. You will see the ball goes up so it won't be intercepted by the defenders and I'll have a good chance to score a goal. Hi guys, I'm Levy. I'm a FIFA eSports player for Ajax. I'm also the champion of the playoffs of last year and I'm here to give you a FIFA 22 passing masterclass. First I will teach you how to use the lofted through ball. It's really important, especially when, when you're countering and there's a lot of space behind the back line of your opponent. As you can see, I will pass it to the first striker, my left striker, and my second striker is running in the space when you're free with the keeper. My central midfielder is having the ball and I'm already triggering my striker to go deep. He's going into space and this is one of the most important things about the lofted through ball because I will know he's going into the space but my opponent isn't so far yet. At this moment I will give a, a pass to my left striker and as you can see my opponent is switching as well to his right center back to cover the pass to my left striker and I will give the lofted through ball by using L1, R1 and triangle about two or three bars depends on how much distance the ball has to take. My striker who, who is already in full pace and having the free space to go with the keeper and score and go. So here we have another example of the lofted through ball. As you can see, I'm passing it again to my left striker and my right striker is already going into space. But now we will highlight the importance of the timing. At this moment, it will be too, too quick to pass the ball because it will be easy for the defender to intercept. So what I'm looking at is when he is about to surpass the defender just in time so he won't be offside and you still have time to load up the power for the pass. Perfect timing, he's true on the defender and you have an easy chance to score. Okay, so the second thing we will talk about today is the driven pass. The driven pass is one of the most important things in FIFA 22. So let's break it down. As you can see in the clip, I will send my striker into space. I will give him a love to true ball and he is one-on-one -on -one with the defender. I'm running down the line with my left striker and I'm cutting it back. At this moment, a driven pass is the perfect solution with an R1 plus X. If I was to use a normal pass, the pass will be too slow and too easy to read. That's why I'm using a driven pass, which is much harder and much more accurate and it's easy to tap in afterwards. So in the second clip, my right winger is totally free in space. And at this moment, I'm already looking at my left striker who is in between two defenders. So it might look like he's covered, but at this moment, I think this is a perfect angle to have a driven pass. Uh, for me, it's better to use a driven pass in this instance than a normal pass because my opponent won't be in time to switch to his defender and cover the passing lane. And then I have the perfect opportunity to get my striker free in the box and have an easy chance. The last thing I want to talk about is something us pros are using a lot, which is the double tap pass. My striker is in between or behind two defenders and I'm giving a little double tap pass. You will see the ball goes up so it won't be intercepted by the defenders and I will have a good chance to score a goal. Let's break it down. In this clip you will see that I'm having the ball around the box with one of my striker and the other striker is inside the box behind the defenders. I'm giving the double tap pass here because it will avoid the defenders to intercept the ball and it also will pop the ball a little bit up and give you a perfect uh, chance to volley the ball which makes it easier to score the goal. So in this second clip we have another example of the double tap pass. I'm entering the box with my right winger and I'm giving a little double tap pass to my first striker and I'm already noticing that my second striker is coming into the box. At this moment I will use another time the double tap pass just so because the ball will go up it won't be easy to intercept for any of the defenders and I will have the folly to easy score the chance. Okay guys that's all that's my FIFA 22 passing masterclass I hope it will improve your game and I will see you all on the pitch.